it. Okay. okay. We're good. So, so you go first. Oh, can you go first? Yeah, so I can film you, and we'll take we'll take turns. Actually, I'll go first because we gotta get used to this road, and then I uh, will take turns. Are there any super gnarly like holes anywhere in this? Nah, this is a road. Oh, okay. There will be some. There, there's gonna be a, pu a puddle. Yeah, okay, puddle's fine. Yeah. I'm talking about like four foot washout kind of thing. End well, uh, endoing over something. Well, it's uh, you know <laughs> it, it's a possibility. Oh, all right. But well, most cool. likely not. Oh, this, if I know, then I can watch out for it. This road is very <laughs> stable. It's you can do the same all the time. Oh. Yeah. Crotch, oh, no. crotch shot. What's happening guys? Well today, I am out in Maui Maui. Yes sir. Oh, came out to visit Miss Stacy. And added bonus, Mr. Midastop. And uh, so this morning I met Mr. Mike. And Mr. Mike rented me this beautiful Gen 2 KLR. Oh yeah. That was sexy. <laughs> and uh, Miss Minnestop just told me that I might be the first person to ride a KLR on these trails ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little puddle. Yeah, it's a little puddle. There's fish in the e puddle. Extreme water crossing. Oh, yeah, oh, KLR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but what we want to talk to you guys about today is uh, something that I kind of learned very last minute uh, before coming to Maui, just kind of asking Stace what uh, what the deal is and uh, you know kind of what to expect when I got here like am I should I just be expecting like vacation island you know where everything's centered around that but uh, actually you know Hawaii has uh, its own native population which a lot of you know uh, and <laughs> I've heard them referred to as locals and so kind of what I want Mr. Kurt to expound upon is uh like Kurt what's the deal what's the natives deal with uh the the tourists in the tourist industry like how do they how do they feel about people coming here to vacation and enjoy the island but not actually like stay and live here um well I think it's kind of a love-hate relationship for a lot of people okay um there of course are a radical group of people wait hold on Throw my seat away. Hold, hold up. There, there, is, there is a bunch of people, a bunch of radical uh, native Hawaiians that are really against any kind of tourism or urban development or anything. They really want to just take all the land away from everybody and turn Hawaii back into a sovereign nation. Right, so they, I, they want it to be not part of the U.S. anymore. Uh, yeah, and I get that. Uh, but that would be a very difficult thing to achieve. And right. if it weren't a part of the United States, um, would the United States still protect them? You know, what's going to happen? Economy, what kind of industry will this place have? You know, it's, it's a hard question to answer. And there's no easy, there's no easy uh, solutions. Right. Um, but as far as like the, the majority of the people here, uh -huh. um, uh, nobody really gives a crap. No, nobody really. <laughs> so, so even like a good portion of the locals themselves are like those are they're just kind of like whack jobs that want to turn it back into a sovereign nation. Well, I wouldn't say they're whack jobs. They do have a lot of valid points and this place was definitely illegally occupied by the US government. The land was basically taken. Right. Um, that's something that happened a long time ago. But are they but are they seen as radicals by the majority of people or or are the majority of the people kind of like well, yeah, we should do that, but that's kind of never going to happen, so let's not make a big deal about it, or...? I think the majority of the people see them as angry. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know about radicals. Radicals don't imply that they're, like, bombing things. Right. And, yeah, but no, but I mean, you see, like, you, you drive around the island, like, you'll see their signs. You yeah. know, like, this territory occupied by the... I, I forget the, the name, what they call the themselves. Sovereign, the Hawaiian Sovereign Nation or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah. yeah, something like that. And, yeah, yeah, you know, like, uh, me being an outsider, I'm like... All right, well, we're definitely not going down that road. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, like, those people are probably not very happy that I'm here right now. No, and uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, uh, it's, 
it's a, it's a difficult situation for sure. Yeah. But most most people that live here, uh, we tolerate the tourists and we understand that the tourism industry is what keeps this island afloat. Right, it keeps it going. Not uh, secondarily, the defense industry is what keeps these islands afloat. We have a big, strong defense industry. Right, which uh, uh, which kind of ties into why Miss Stacy was sent out here for work. Yeah, and and you know I, I work for the right. defense industry and. Uh, if that goes away, Hawaii is screwed. Right. Like, Hawaii uh, is seriously screwed if the defense industry goes away. Well, um, the, the one thing that I noticed that I really didn't expect, and, you know, even knowing you, I didn't, it, I didn't put two and two together, was I knew, I knew where you worked and, like, sort of what you did. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, like fucking Bronco, yeah. Yeah, let's not talk about too much about what I did. Man. No, I'm not going to talk about what you do at all, because... Because I actually don't know 100% what yeah, you good. do. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, back to what I was, the original point of saying this was, I didn't realize that there are like big companies here and there's like, you know, obviously there are people that have to go and work at those companies. Like, you know, like the one that I work for in Colorado. Yeah. Like, uh, you have to understand, like I, I know really nothing about Hawaii other than the general like bullshit that you learned about North Dakota in school. Like yeah, I know the yeah. same amount, you know? Like you never thought that Lockheed and Boeing had a big presence here, you know? Exactly. So, yeah. so with that also comes uh, classes of people, you know. So you're gonna have like CEOs yep. uh, that have a lot of money, and you're gonna have workers that are middle class people, and then you're gonna have janitors. You know, like I'm just generalizing here. Yeah. But yeah, you're yeah. gonna have janitors that are, you know, not lower, you know. Ow. Um. And I think, uh, like, like. Uh, I guess my question is, <laughs> all right, let me give you a little bit of backstory. So Miss Stacy and I had a conversation yesterday while we were driving around the island. And she was like, it seems to me, in my opinion uh, of what I've seen since I've been here for, you know, I've been here once or twice before, but been here a month this time. It seems that the locals don't put a lot of uh, emphasis on education. Like, she said that it seems like they don't, they don't think that education is uh, as high-ranking as maybe some other things in their priority of life. Uh, do, you, do you find that that's true or no? Um, no, I don't think that's true. I think that's, I think that's an outsider looking in. Because okay. There is, like, I know so many, some of my friends that they're just like, their kids are like all about learning. Yeah. And all about the, this is a gnarly trail right here. This is, oh, okay, is this, this right here, the this is the beginning of the Miller Time Trail. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, famous places 101. Okay. Right. <laughs> and I hate that trail. I have definitely seen that trail before. <laughs> yeah, that trail sucks. You're supposed to go down, but everybody keeps insisting on going down. <laughs> really? Is, is it all like gnarly rutted out now? It's so everybody going so up? crazy, yeah. Yeah. There's probably new ways around all the stuff too. So what's this uh, what's this area called right here? Uh, <laughs> Trails. Lahaina. <laughs> Lahaina. Okay. Yeah. So this like actual area that we're riding in doesn't have like a rampart range or. A... No, because it's not a, uh, it's it's not all legal. <laughs> right. It's uh, it's uh, you're not supposed to be riding here exactly. I mean, we're, we're in, we're literally in Mexico right now, so just, right. just saying, we're we're in Mexico. Dude, Mexico is beautiful. We, yeah, this is Tijuana, guys. Wow. You want to you, you hear a funny story? Shoot. This is the first single track I've ever ridden. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Legit, I've never ridden single track, ever. What? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. Oh, well. boy. At least we're going downhill. Right. <laughs> no, no, well, no, it's fine. Well, it's no, fine. in Colorado, it's like, at least it wasn't on the side of a sheer cliff. Yeah. <laughs> you know those videos you see on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. A Screw lot of that. those are from Colorado. Screw that. Well, we're gonna... <laughs> they're, uh, they're goat trails, and they're freaking seriously look sketchy. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I want to give you one more to the point question for Shoot. the vidya. Shoot. Um... So, uh, so what is your, what is your background? Where where are you from originally? From here. You're from here. Where did you where did, like you grew up where you live now? Yeah, I grew up. Well, that's the, not in the house, but like, nearby. Right. Okay. So, so like in the same place on the island. Yeah. Yeah. So what is what is your take personally on everything that we've kind of just uh, you know talked about? 
But what do you think about the industry and what do you think that you'll uh, be able to stay here for the rest of your life and have a, have a good life and be happy and etc cetera, etc? Cetera? complicated because Maui is going through some changes uh, especially because the cane industry shut down okay and uh, the, all that land that you see all that open land that you see when you drive around is is kind of in limbo we don't know what's gonna happen to it okay uh, Monsanto is trying to grab big portions of it they have a big presence here and they're they're, they're being fought like on all levels yeah because of, because of the things that they're doing here I think that they're being fought by pretty much everyone. Like the general consensus right, is that Mon levels. Monsanto <laughs> is just not good. Yeah, but half the people here are for them too. That's the surprising thing. Half well, the people are actually for Monsanto being here, and it's I don't understand that. But well, is it just related to the money and no, the jobs? A lot of people, a lot of people here just don't feel that the GMO stuff is bad. And okay. You know, there's scientific evidence to support both sides. That's the problem. Right. Okay. So until we have more long-term results, we really, really don't know. Right. But aside from that, um, uh, Maui is changing. Uh, it's becoming it's becoming more and more developed. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I could see overdevelopment being an issue. Yeah, and uh, uh, I'm, the reason why, uh, you know, for me personally, the reason why I want to move uh -huh. is because. Well, I really want to explore more places on two wheels and do it easier and cheaper. <laughs> okay. So, so even as as a native Hawaiian, um, uh, answer answer that uh, on the on the topic of the whole um, territory thing. What do you what what are your personal feelings on that? Well, uh, I, I cannot I cannot speak as a native Hawaiian. That's a, that's that's a, needs to be clear. I'm a local. Hawaiian. I, I, I'm, a, I'm not a native Hawaiian. I'm not. I don't have Hawaiian blood. I am. Okay. All different kinds of other crap. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you're. You're a fairly mixed breed. You're, yeah, my dad. You're my family did a lot of humping. Yeah. Uh, in <laughs> it happens. Okay. So, all right. So, are you? Um, it, does that ever come up? Like, is that a problem for you? Like, do you say like I'm Hawaiian? No, right, you I, just I you just I'm can't local. say I'm native Hawaiian. Yeah, no, I say I'm I'm, I'm all, I only say I'm from Hawaii and I'm local. Okay. But you okay. know, how many generations does it take for you to become native? You know, that's my right. question. I mean, like I this... am fourth generation uh, here. So well, like... aren't a lot of even the people that claim to be native Hawaiians really like some part of part of Asian as well as Hawaiian? Oh uh, yeah, there, there are. I don't think there are any pure Hawaiians. Like purebred. Yeah, I, I think that unfortunately that has died off a long time ago. Okay. And the, the, the struggle to keep the culture alive is a very real thing. That's why we have these cultural centers. Yeah. That's why the, the, the University of Hawaii has all these cultural programs, uh, which are funded by the state, which is a great thing. Yeah, and actually, but, uh, just as a visitor, you see a lot of. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's right out in the open, which is which is cool. Yeah, um, so, so, so as far as the territory is concerned, yeah, um, I really want the the federal government to do for the Hawaiians what they've done for the Native Americans. You know, give them a big place of, of land, like huge, like especially in the big island, just giant parcels of land where they can have their own government and right. govern themselves and make their own rules. That right. would be excellent, but I don't think that it's you know, feasible. You for if the we entire state. If we have any actual Native Americans watching this, they just like took a huge gulp and were like, <laughs> no. Well, you know, I, uh, they, I they, am part Native American. Oh, so, okay. So, you know, I, I, I usually they're I like, that. oh yeah, they just kind of put us on the shittiest parcel of land. and Yeah, no, you know. they, they need to get better stuff. Well, we need to get better stuff for sure. Well, yeah, I think they, I, I agree with what you're saying. I think that they should do like, uh, you know, a reservation kind of thing, but like, not in terms of like we're sticking you here. No, it should more be in great terms places. of like this is th you know this is you you manage it, uh, you know, and it's a territory of the United States or something like that. It should be yeah. It should be uh, it should come down to a vote. You know, it should be the people should definitely get involved on all sides. Yeah. Um, because you know, it shouldn't be a, a non-democratic situation. It should be. You know, the Hawaiian people need to get together, vote on what needs to be done, organize, stop <laughs> being angry, you know. Huh? Right. Being angry is not good. Well, being angry does sometimes get things done. The Boston Tea Party, I mean, come on. But it, yeah, <laughs> but it's not It's not going to do what they want to do. It's not making any forward progress in their issues. Well, it, 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 I'm not sure. It probably does a little. It, it, I really don't want to uh, 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 crash over here. I, 
<laughs> I don't want to crash either. It's a, it is a very sensitive topic. That right. I yeah, no, I don't want to get anybody in trouble or anything like yeah. that. I'm just asking because I literally have no... Careful I, I'm, here. I am ignorant on the subject. Yeah. So, you know, um, all I have is speculation from my personal experiences and Miss, Sta- you know, Miss Stacy and I have talked about recently. Yeah, there's stuff on both sides of the factions. Like the Hawaiian groups are actually split up into a couple different factions and what they believe in. Okay. And um, uh, there, there are the ones who want all everything. Everything needs to get back to Hawaii, the whole state. Yeah. And there, there are the Hawaiians that are like, no, that's crazy. What are you talking about? You know, we need to, we need to preserve the culture among other things because what's going to happen? Uh, if the United States decides to say, hey, okay, this, is, this place is all yours now. Right. No, more, no more funding. Right. No more roads. No, no more, more roads, schools. No more defense industry. Yeah, yeah. No more corporations. Right. I mean, how fast is it going to take this place to recover from the economic t- tragedy that would be? Well, that's the question is like, are they willing to, are they really willing to do that? Or is that just like bravado? Like, are they really willing to, oh my God, we have to form a new, uh, you know, the uh, Department of um, Education. We have to have roads. We're gonna have to have this and that, and get public works. You know, we have to have water, electricity. I'm sure. I'm sure a, 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 a big enough plan were to put in, be put in place a, a proper plan. I'm sure it could be all done pretty, pretty straightforward and easily. Right. Uh, but that's gonna take decades of planning and Whoa. work. It's, <laughs> it's not an easy thing. If people weren't willing to do it, then. Uh, then know, absolutely. But, yeah. But, but at the same time, you know. <laughs> Uh, life is good here. <laughs> yeah. For the most people, for the most part, most people, life is really good here. Even for a lot of the, all the natives, like it's, it's, they get a lot of benefits. Yeah. And uh, life is great. Right. Uh, and yeah, it is I mean, the happiest seems, place in the world. You know, every place has its crazies and its and its homeless and its and its issues with that sort of stuff. For, for from what I've seen in you know what three days now, two days now. Um, I just hit my balls. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, but you do see the crazies walking around, you know. You do see that stuff, like the same we see in Denver with the transients and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I go. <laughs> I just made Kayla stall. <laughs> go, Kayla. I wait for you. Oh, no, I'm going. Okay, I don't wait for you, then I wait for the penis. You're waiting for pizza? Pizza, that's what I said. <laughs> I like pizza. Okay. Uh, Do you know where we're going? <laughs> no fucking idea. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't swear. <laughs> oh, don't swear on my channel, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, she's the one. That, yeah. Uh, no, I know where I'm going. Miss Stacy constantly swears on my channel. You gotta take a left here. Oh. Uh, got a little problem. I have no rear brake. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh>. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll take a look at it after we get out of this place. Yeah. Is there a clearing? Oh, it's, what is... pro- it's probably super hot. Yes. That thing is probably. Yeah. We're uh, just gonna. That sign says the bad word. It does say the bad word. It's in Swedish. It uh. says the. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there are places in Europe that's like so. Okay, well, this might be a penis right here. Okay, well, no, you got, you got this. You just gotta go up and then down. Oh yeah. No, that's. This is probably the gnarliest stuff we're gonna be doing today, and it's not even that bad. Okay, a lot of power. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> just uh, be wary of this. You might scrape over here. Did. Oh shit! Oh. Did you just fall? Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna come. I hit my head on a rock. Oh, really? Yeah. Crap, dude. Here I come. Try not to start a fire. Of, of all the places, how's my helmet over here? It's fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. You got some grass stains, but. Okay. Look at that, I got. I just, like, I hit pretty hard. <laughs> Come on, Daisy. Okay, thanks. No worries. No, I got it. 
I gotta straighten out. Okay. Take a take a second, dude. No, 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 fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Hey. You sounded. You did not sound very happy. Oh gosh, cause that was stupid. That was stupid. Good thing. Uh, yeah. Good this, thing you wear helmets. This is gonna be tight. You okay. sure? You sure you're okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. I'm All right. fine. Alright. Take a minute and chill out if you need it. Nah, good. Alright, Kayla, we're gonna do this nice and easy. No. <laughs> you, you got it, you got it, you got it. That literally is the hardest part of this whole thing. But it's not that hard. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick the bike up and edge it over. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't really have it. <laughs> I gotta, I can't put my kickstand down here somewhere. Maybe I can do it down here. Almost. Alright, does Kayla have a handle? Oof. Oh fuck. You know, we might just be Come able on. to we not, might just be able to push it over, but I'm gonna need you to hold it up once it gets there. Oh it's oh that is yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is it's being blocked by this thing right here. You gotta <laughs> it's lead. right between that and that. Oh shit. Yeah. So, like if we can get this up and over, it'll go. It's just so you can see. Wow. So if the rear tire goes that way, it'll go through. Okay, so what do you want what, what do you want me to do? Uh I was want thinking. Me to lift the back? Uh, yeah. Actually. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh, so you, you can just push it through now. Right, it just needs a little help. So, can you get to come up here and get the handlebars like you're going to walk it? Uh, and then I can just push it. Okay. Yeah, like walk around here. You can get the handlebars like you're just going to walk forward with it. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, you're going to have to clutch it though. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. Let me get over here. Okay. Alright. Gnarly <laughs> enduro riding. Yeah, yeah. Woo! All right. Did I mention that it's really freaking hot in Hawaii? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna get really nice after we get out of this crap. It's humid. All right. All right. Okay. Have sir. We're gonna get to some nice open stuff right here. Yeah. Air, airflow. Yeah. Now I see what you mean by when you get back in the jungle back there, it's gotta just be like hot and no airflow at all. Yeah, and this is just the, the trail to the trail side. <laughs> right. All right, so uh, I guess our dual vlog is done. <laughs> oh, I do have your break again. Cool, it cooled off. I'm gonna keep filming until we get. Okay. So there's we're gonna going. be a. You're gonna need your rear brake down here. Just take it real slow. Okay. It's it's kind of a drop. Yeah. Real slow. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Oh, you got this. Yeah, you got it. Oh yeah. I got boots. 
Yeah. <laughs> ah, air. Yeah. Oh, air is good. I shouldn't be concerned about that hit on my head, should I? I mean... No, the only thing that concerned me was that you sounded concerned. Well, anytime, anytime somebody hits their head, I'm always concerned because that's like, that could kill you. Right, that's what I'm saying. If you're legitimately saying you feel fine, then I, I think you're fine. Yeah. I did not see you fall. Oh! Yeah. Well, I, I, I hit a rock and I went super sideways. <laughs> so people launch over this right here just to yeah. the jump. But well, we're not going to do that today. Uh, Alright, so let me just do a quick little conclusion here. Okay. Uh, Alright, Mr. Minister, thank you for uh, giving me that information. I didn't, I didn't know anything about it, like I said. Uh, it's been pretty cool kind of learning um, a little bit, you know. Uh, but I'll be here for a couple more days, so I may have a couple more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be definitely more vlogs. Let's do some more vlogs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we... <laughs> you just want to leave me to stuff that this KLR is just barely going to clear. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing it like a boss, though, for sure. That's all right. I mean, for me, um, I've been riding the Africa Twin. Yeah. So I am used to the big bike waddle, you know, like... Uh, and actually compared to the African Twin, this thing is like a little daddy penny baby WR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right on, brother. Yeah, thank we'll you catch, very much. You gotta give him the peace. So I'm gonna say, we'll catch y'all later. Peace. <laughs> right on. All right.